We're getting ready for the upcoming City Council meeting on Tuesday, the 5th day of February 2019. From Farmers Branch City Hall, this is the 86th edition. That is 86. Of Council Countdown on FBTV. Hello again, everyone. I am Tom Bryson. During the next few minutes, we're going to go into detail on the upcoming City Council consent agenda and run down other items on the regular agenda at this meeting. First up, after ceremonial items and a report on study session, members of the Council will consider items placed on the consent portion of the agenda. There are seven items on the February 5th consent agenda. Agenda item H1 is to consider approving the minutes for the regular City Council meeting held on January 22nd. Item H2 is to consider adopting Ordinance Number 3552, ordering a general election to be held on May 4th, 2019, for the purpose of electing two council members for the City Council for District 1 and District 4. In order to fill expiring terms for City Council Districts 1 and 4, the City Council must order an election to be held on May 4th. The City Council must order that election on or before February 15th. Ordinance number 3552 authorizes the city to order a general election for that purpose. City administration recommends adoption of ordinance number 3552. Agenda item H3 is to consider approving resolution number 2019-014, authorizing a unit price contract with Roadmaster Striping, LLC, for maintaining lane markings on various city streets through a cooperative purchasing interlocal agreement with the city of Allen. The Public Works Department is requesting to enter into a contract with Roadmaster Striping for pavement markings at various locations throughout the city. This will be a unit price contract through a cooperative purchasing interlocal agreement with the City of Allen. This vendor has previously performed pavement markings for Farmers Branch and this contract will commence upon execution of the agreement and terminate on January 31, 2021 unless terminated earlier or extended in accordance with the, term of the Allen, terms of the Allen contract and provided funds are approved in the Public Works budget. City Administration recommends approval of Resolution Number 2019-014. Agenda Item H4 is to consider approving Resolution Number 2019-015, awarding the bid for traffic signal cabinets to Paradigm Traffic Systems through the Local Government Cooperative Contract Number 524-17. The Public Works Department is requesting to purchase six TS2 Type 1 signal cabinets to replace existing outdated cabinets by utilizing the local government purchasing cooperative contract. The city signal system currently has 17 signal cabinets which were installed between 1967 and 1979. Four of these cabinets will be replaced and two locations will be updated to comply with the new standards set by the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices along the Luna Road corridor. City Administration recommends approval of Resolution Number 2019-015. Agenda item H5 is to consider approving resolution number 2019-016, authorizing the city manager to purchase data server hardware from EST Group, utilizing the State of Texas Department of Information Resources contract number DIR-TSO-3763. The city routinely replaces server hardware on a five-year cycle subject to funding availability, which is a benchmark that generally corresponds to the useful life of these systems. The acquisition of this hardware will provide the necessary equipment, complete with current technology and maintenance to ensure the city's ability to reliably and efficiently deliver technology services. The City of Farmers Branch requested vendor quotations utilizing the State of Texas Department of Information Resources contract pricing for automated information systems. City Administration evaluated the quotes and desires to award the purchase of the server hardware to EST Group. The current approved fiscal year budget provides $138,000 for the purchase of the replacement server hardware. The proposed procurement from EST Group would include six PowerEdge R74, that is R740 XD servers, in the amount of $115,905 and one PowerEdge R740 server for $15,233. City Administration recommends approving Resolution Number 2019-016. Agenda Item H6 is to consider approving Resolution Number 2019-018, adopting the revised road hump policy. The City established a road hump policy by Resolution Number 2000-065 in April of the year 2000. The policy establishes a process for receiving requests and provided technical criteria with public involvement for neighborhoods with traffic impacts. The city evaluates each request on a case-by-case -case basis for the installation of road humps. After each request is evaluated, a determination is made to deny or accept the request. 
When a request meets all policy criteria, it is then submitted to the City Council for final approval and or budget funding. At a recent study session, City Council asked staff to amend the policy to allow for more flexibility and citizen input. The following revisions are suggested for the Council to consider. That street, street length, that is, be reduced from 1,500 feet to 1,000 feet. That traffic volume be reduced from between 400 to 4,000 vehicles to 300 to 1,000 vehicles traveled per 24-hour period. And that uh, exception, an exceptions clause be added for those petitions that do not meet the policy's criteria with certain qualifications. All other processes and technical criteria will remain in full force from the original policy established in 2000. City Administration recommends approval of Resolution Number 2019-018. And Agenda Item H7 is to approve Resolution Number 2019-020, authorizing the City Manager to purchase replacement desktop, laptop, and rugged mobile computer systems and associated accessories in an amount not to exceed $159,000 from Dell Marketing. The city replaces computers on a four-year cycle subject to funding availability. The fiscal year 2018-19 budget includes funding for the routine replacement of a portion of the city's desktop and laptop computer systems, including specialty rugged mobile computers for public safety departments. The City of Farmers Branch requested vendor quotations utilizing the State of Texas Department of Information Resources contract pricing for automated information systems. City Administration evaluated the quotes and desires to, to award the purchase of the computer hardware to Dell Marketing. The current budget provides for funding for the purchase of rugged mobile computers and docking units for public safety, desktop computers, laptop computers, and associated accessories such as monitors, docking stations, carry cases, and sound bars. The hardware will be procured under a cooperative purchasing contract through the Texas Department of Information Resources contract number DIR-TSO-3763. It is anticipated that the proposed procurement from Dell Marketing would include 23 rugged mobile computers for public safety, 17 docking units for police patrol vehicles, 51 desktop computers, 20 laptop computers and docking units, as well as those monitors and those other accessories. City Administration recommends approval of resolution number 2019-020. And that was it for the consent agenda. Here are the other items on the regular session before the council at this upcoming meeting. Agenda item I-1 is to conduct a public hearing and consider adopting ordinance number 3553 for a request for a zoning change for two lots. One is an approximate 19 and a half acre lot located on the south side of the future extension of Mercer Parkway, 420 feet east of Commerce Street, changing from Commerce District to Mid-Density Residential District within Plan Development District number 88, and an approximate seven acre lot located at the southwest corner of Whittington Place and Senlac Drive, changing from Office 1 District to Mid-Density Residential District within Plan Development Number 88, including amending the Plan Development District Number 88 Regulating Plan. Agenda Item J1 is to consider approving Resolution Number 2019-006, approving a professional services agreement with Kimley Horn and Associates relating to the design of the pedestrian crossings at Midway Road Feasibility Study. Item J2 is to consider approving Resolution Number 2019-019, that is to authorize the city manager to execute a contract for custodial services with AHI facility services through city bid 19-05 in the amount, total amount that is, of $548,152. And agenda item J3 is to consider adopting ordinance number 3557 calling for a bond election for May 4th, 2019, making provisions for conducting the election and other provisions relating thereto. In addition, the council may recess into closed session, but will then reconvene into regular session to take any necessary action. And that will do it for the February 5th agenda. Every regular meeting of the Farmers Branch City Council can be seen live right here on FBTV. That is Spectrum Cable Channel 16 and Farmers Branch, AT&T U-verse, Channel 99 throughout this here Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex or online at www.farmersbranchtx.gov. This City Council information program will be made available simultaneous to agenda posting on the Friday before each regular City Council meeting and will air prior to the live meetings as well as before all Council meeting replays here on FBTV. That replay schedule is at 6 p.m. seven days a week. Now all meetings are subject to change, so stay tuned to FBTV for any updates and more information. 
In the meantime, the February 5th meeting of the City Council starts at 6 p.m. this Tuesday evening here at Farmers Branch City Hall. We certainly hope to see you here. Until then, for everyone here in the studio, I'm Tom Bryson. You're watching continuing coverage of the Farmers Branch City Council on FBTV. Please stay with us.